Hello everyone, I've been getting um, some feedback with people saying, you know, asking me why don't I do more videos and what I want you guys to know is, you know, I don't do a lot of videos just because I don't want all of my information to be out there for everyone to consume and then you have, you know, it's just a racing to the bottom because everyone's doing the same thing. If you notice, like there's thousands of videos and they're all dropshipping from aliexpress dropshipping from china how to do facebook ads it all of them do they do the exact same thing because none of it's original so what they what they what they what these people are actually doing is they're just regurgitating information from someone else and that's why if you go if you just type in dropshipping you're gonna see the same thing but we use us based suppliers which gives us a huge advantage because we can ship stuff in them in great time and we can get you know great shipping rates and i want to show you this and, and guys, see when you're doing your websites, you want to make sure like, you know, you don't want everything to be on sale, but sometimes you can run like a summer sale. This is increased. Like right now, summer sales are going up, you know, and uh, I want to show you some other things that we've added. Like, uh, let's see. That's part of the summer sale. Summer sale. And uh, that's something else I want to show you guys. Like, add this to your websites corner that way people can get financing a lot of people that that um that's selling that cheap stuff they can't you know they can't get financing for something that's you know some cheap craft from aliexpress but with this you can and what i want to show you I, I typically you know i always show um products that i actually sell you know so and this is uh, this is one of our actual websites but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you the name because i don't want because you show the name then people want to go look at it and they start clicking all around and pressing buttons and then when it when your analytics come back you don't know why you have you know thousand people clicking on something but nobody buying so that's why it's best not to show you it's not that i'm trying to hide anything but if you show people they're going to come over they're just going to play around and then all of your 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 data is going to be all screwed when you, because we look at we want a certain amount of visitors per sale but say if i have 100 visitors i'd like to get one sale but if i show everybody this video and a thousand people come over clicking i'm like well what, what's going on and then you don't know how to fix it because you don't you don't know what's going on but what i do want to show you is you want to get with suppliers that give you at least 20 to 30 percent margins a lot of the guys that that do the drop shipping now i'm not talking about the aliexpress drop shipping i'm talking about like people that do like the ebay the amazon drop shipping most of those guys are working on like five like um like 0 0.05 you know i mean i mean not even not even a whole five percent you know so i mean those guys they they work in large margins that's why they 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 um they have so many products listed because they have to, you know, because I mean, if you look at them, they sell, a lot of them are selling cheap stuff, just like the guys from AliExpress and Alibaba. But this, you know, by us using these U.S. suppliers and we're getting, we're going directly to manufacturers. We're not buying it off of, you know, a retail site like Amazon and selling it on another retail site like eBay. We're actually going to manufacturers and we're getting the lowest prices that you can actually get this stuff for. And that's why we can afford to get 20 to 30 percent margins. And if you look at this, right, you look at, I just want to show you like this. All right. This is on the low end. We're looking at $899. Let's just say 900. I've been doing a lot of math. You can see over here. I was, before I came over here, but if you look at 900 and you do that times, you're looking at 30. I put it's really you can put 0.3, but I'll put 30 just so you can see the full thing. 0.30, okay. And you're looking at $270 per sale, which is great. If you're selling on, uh, if you're selling on AliExpress, you're gonna have to sell a lot to get that amount because the most of the stuff is you know just cheap. And um, now that's now this is all. Look, I want to show you this is all on the same website. We have one for 800 right next to it, one for 6,000. And you can see, I think I have it over here. This is how much it would be, but I'll do it again. Now, over here is actually um, 6,299. We just go 6,200, okay? 6,200. And we're going to do the point. And we just go point three. All right, 1860. Now, guys, making one sale, you're making 1860. That is phenomenal. You know, and I'll show you another website that we use. I don't like to show my real, real niche websites. I'll show you some of these that are, these are niche also because they only, most of them will be selling like one product. And that's how we do our websites. We don't put a whole lot of different stuff. We want people to be focused. When they come in, they know these are pool tables. When they go to the other one, that's massage chairs and they don't have any confusion. You know, you go to some of those little Alibaba, they, I mean, they're selling so many different things. You don't know what, what, what is this site even about? You know, and you can see, like, it, we did the six thousand. Let's let's do, you know, let's do eight thousand. We go eight seven. Wait, wrong thing. 
uh, let's go eight seven. And for putting in the same amount of work, look at the difference in the pay. You're looking at twenty six, and you're looking at eighteen. Now, naturally, you want the person to buy this one for eight seven. You know, but the thing is, the, the the whole thing behind this is it doesn't matter because you're putting in the same amount of work. Because all you're doing is you're capturing the information and you're putting it in. And I'm going to show you inside an account. I've showed you guys before. And I'm going to show you over here on Wayfair because Wayfair is one of the originators. And I was doing some really, I was I, I put the, the prices between eight and 20000 Wayfair, I like to use them because Wayfair was one of the originators of drop shipping but now they have a lot of um they're opening up their own warehouses but this is one of the places where you where we used to get a lot of our supplier information and um but i mean you can see this eight thousand ten thousand but you can you can go up here and you can change it to whatever you want maybe you don't feel comfortable selling stuff that's that's eight thousand or twenty thousand and i have an inf and if you come over here look I had another window open already so I can show you these is like I'm mean, now we can go these are five seven now let's say you don't feel comfortable selling that and what we what we typically tell people if you're not comfortable selling very expensive stuff starting out sell stuff between two hundred and a thousand dollars okay now we if I was declared that I, I did five hundred thousand let's just say let's just find some stuff that we can say you know um let's say two hundred to four hundred let's say let's say you feel more comfortable in that range Okay, that's, I mean, that's, it's not, I mean, it's cheap for a sofa, but I mean, it's not cheap as far as, you know, what most people are selling. All right, now, let's say you come in here, okay, 300, 200, let's, let's do some math on that. Let me just say 250, 250, and we'll do the Seventy five dollars. That's not bad for one sale, and it's it's and it's not gonna be that hard to sell a sofa for seventy. I mean, for two hundred and fifty dollars if it's good quality. And another thing about it is, a lot of people don't mind spending this kind of money to buy a sofa and things online because it is COVID nineteen is so dangerous. People don't want to just go out and 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 a lot of people used to ask me a while back. They say people buy this stuff online. Of course they do because there's reviews, there's stuff that tells them what people think about it. So that way a person you. You don't have to actually see something if you can get a, a enough reviews that when you look at it and somebody saying this is a terrible piece of crap then you know hey i don't want to buy that and um what i want to show you is this is a side one of our actual accounts and this is an account that i've been with for years and um all you, right up here you can put it in for a regular order or you can put it that's if i was just shipping it you know if i was um i don't know i don't use regular order so i'll just go with drop shipping all the time and um, you just put in information. All that information is going to come in through uh, whatever you're using. If you're using Shopify, they're going to give you all the first name, customer information and everything. Phone number. Well, I don't typically ask for phone number. And you can see all these are artists that have been coming through for a while. And um, you can see the order processing date it will be tomorrow. You can see this is this is live, so it's not a screenshot. Um, and then I want to show you. We were making about, I would say, off of one of our websites. And see, the thing is, you know, when you start off, you want to master just one website, one niche. And then as you as you can start scaling up, you want to start getting more and more websites. I do it sort of like people do like with stocks, like they hold like different mutual funds. And, and in those funds, they have lots of different companies. So what I do is in my portfolio, I just have lots of different websites. I have I have so many different types and that's one of the reason I, I don't do a lot of videos because we have so much going on that you know I mean selling a course to me is, is not really what I do anyway but I try to help people out when I can and um you can see right here you can see we made thirty six thousand six hundred forty four dollars and seventy two cents and when you come over here you can see that that's all that's all of the same stuff so that um uh, what I forget what I want to say, but um, anyway, I wanted like I said, we were making about nineteen thousand off that one website, and the and the traffic has just like I mean doubled since the corona. Because I mean, it, over the over the last couple of months, people are terrified to go out. They're scared their kids are gonna get sick. And guys, I mean, you can sit at home and 
And the thing is, guys, you don't have to try to master everything overnight because you have, I mean, 30 bucks a month for Shopify and you can learn it and, and get in there and just learn it. You know what I mean? You can't start a business anywhere else with 30 bucks a month. I mean, well, 29 bucks to be honest. But, um, guys, if, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And, uh, what I want you to do is, uh, there's going to be a link in the description that you can hit that, uh, if you want to get started with this, you can. If not, hey, doesn't matter to me. But if you want to make those type of returns that we're making 36,000 and you look at it as an investment, you look at it as a business, then you're going to succeed. If you just look at it as just, just, just a way to get some quick money. You're not gonna, you're not gonna succeed. You have to really like doing what you're doing. I, I love doing it. I've been doing this over six years now. And so for me, that's why I can compete in some of those tougher niches like sofa sensor. Those are, those are some tough niches, you know. And, but I can, I can get in there and do it because I've been doing it so long. But if I was new to it, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with those big stuff like that. I mean, unless, unless you really feel like, like, uh, like you really know what you can, that you can handle it. But other than that, I would, I would, Go through the training that we have and find some easier targets. But with that being said, guys, I'm out of here and um, I'm I'm a, I may start putting up a few videos here and there. But um, you know, like I said, I have so many websites that I'm doing and I have other affiliate websites that I'm doing. So I I put together a team over the years. And guys, um, if you really want to put a team together, get use. I think I can't remember the website that I use is Philippines something, but you can get. I mean, you don't have to pay workman's comp, you don't have to pay unemployment, and you don't have to 1099 them, They're not, you know, so, I mean, it makes everything real simple, and that way you can have real employees without all the headaches of having real employees, okay, and if you guys want to know anything more else about that, you can always ask in the description, ask whatever questions you have, thank you, and I'm out of here.